Hey, Jimmy with Cuff and Stuff. Well, today we got another good one for you. You may not have ever even heard of these. This is Carolina Pig Shots, all right? I know you may have seen Pig Shots on some other videos, but I guarantee you, you haven't seen one like this. So, hang tight. Okay, so to start with, we're gonna make our filling. So let's come out. This is two blocks of Philadelphia cream cheese. Hard to get any better than that. This is the original. Now I've let this sit out for a minute or two just to kind of soften up. And that's really what I want. That block and dump it in. Let's get the other one. And the second one. All right, let's kind of mash these together a little bit. Now, Here's the second thing. People may find this a little weird, but this is Tostitos. This is spinach dip. These two things go together. It is unreal. And I'm going to take the whole jar and put in here. Oh my goodness. Good stuff. Start to mix these two together. Would you ever thought cream cheese and spinach dip? <laughs> Next, I need a little bit. This is sharp cheddar cheese. I'm going to put, oh, let's cover the top. and mix it in. Now, this is still pretty cold and it's gonna take a minute to mix. So just keep working with it until you get it thoroughly mixed. It's not gonna get soupy. You don't want that, but get this mixed together and this is doing pretty well right here. Now, how does it get in here? You know somehow it's got to get in, right? And what's that? Uncle Steve's got to show up, right? Gator Shake. Ha! It is hard to beat Gator Shake, and I'm going to put... Oh, a good tablespoon and a half, maybe two tablespoons in this and mix again. All right, so there we go. How's that look? You look decent. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, let's work on part two. I'm gonna set this aside. Okay, that's a link of beef sausage and what I'm going to do is you see I'm going to start cutting this into fairly thick coins not thick 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 but I want them pretty thick and I want them as square as I can get them because this is going to be my base that I'm gonna start working on. And there's that half. 
And you see these are three quarters, maybe some of them closer to an inch than I'm making. All right, next. Put these pieces I'm not gonna use over here. This is thick cut bacon. Now, I wanna take about half a piece. So I'm gonna stack these up and I'm gonna take a piece of bacon and I'm gonna go all the way around him like this. And then I'm gonna take a toothpick and I'm gonna push it all the way through. And there's one. Let me show you another one. Again, the thick cut bacon. I'm coming all the way around. Make sure you're sausage you want this fairly tight around it make sure your sausage though is standing up straight and just come right through and there you go and you see how this is making kind of a little cup see there All right, and this is all you do. I've got several more to do. Let me get them done and I'll bring you back. Okay, so we made 25 pig shots out of that one pound link of sausage. And almost, you see, I have a little bit of the bacon left, about a quarter of that whole package. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my filling and I'm going to put my filling in a Ziploc bag and I'm going to show you why. Um, we're going to take and we're going to fill all of these shots with this filling. And I have found that the easiest way to get it in it, the least trouble, least clean up, least everything is to use a Ziploc bag. All right, so let's work this. We're gonna work it down into one corner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this corner right here and I'm gonna go back about half an inch and I'm gonna cut the corner out, see? There you go. Now, I'm gonna take and move all this filling over to that corner. And we're gonna start squeezing And there you go. And look, 25 just that quick. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take just a little bit more gator shake and I'm gonna sprinkle over the top just like that. And next we're gonna go and put it on the cooker. And when we do that, I'll bring you back.
Okay, that is a grill full of pig shots. Let's close him up. We're going for between 250 and 275. Now this is gonna take about an hour. Experience has taught me that to get the bacon where I want it, it's gonna take a full hour. So we'll bring you back in about an hour. Okay, we about got our temperature where we want it. Let's interrupt that for just a second because I want to add something. This is Jack Daniels barrel wood. I'm going to throw that in and just for a little smoke, just mix that in. Oh, I can smell Jack Daniels coming off the wood already. It ain't even started to smolder yet. All right. Mm. Let's close him back up. And we'll bring you back. Okay. One hour in. And let's check and see what we got. Oh, yeah. Isn't that pretty? Look how they've kind of, as the bacon has shrunk down. Now, some of it has come apart. I've got two or three over here. But for the most part, it has just, it has oozed up. I'm gonna take my temperature probe out. I kept up with it. We were pretty close to 250 all the way through. Now this is a mustard base barbecue sauce. Of course, Carolina, you have gotta have mustard base. And I'm gonna take and just drizzle this over the top of these just like this. Oh, these look so good. I know what's coming. Wish you were here. I would definitely hook you up. These are so good. All right. So let's get some just drizzled over the top. of all of these and there we go all right i'm gonna close the top back up and you see i've still got a little smoke coming off of the uh, jack daniel barrel let's close him back up and we're gonna go about 10 more minutes and let that barbecue sauce set and when it does i'll bring you back okay well, 10 more minutes. Oh yeah. That's definitely set. So let's see if we can get these off. Okay, here we are, our pig shots. We've given them about 15 minutes or so to cool off just a little bit. Only one thing left to do. Here it is. That is a Carolina pig shot. So here we go, going in. All the flavor from that filling, the beef sausage and the bacon and the smokiness from it. And I can taste the gator shape. Mm. Sorry guys. Mm. Mm. Do yourself a favor, try this one, man. It's so easy, it doesn't take but maybe an hour and a half total prep time, the whole works. 
all the way to, to your eating. You got people coming over for the game. You want to serve them as hors d'oeuvres or just something good just to snack on. I can make a meal out of these. Thanks for hanging around. If you haven't already, hit the circle on this side. I'll have another video for you over here. Until next time, hang tight.